is our automatic coin ringing machine, and this is operation video. Firstly, when you receive the machine, you need to connect with the power supply. This pipe is our power supply pipe. Connect to your plug, like this. And this pipe is our air pipe, which connects to the air compressor when you need to change the mode. And in here, this is controller. Control the air compressor quality. One line for here. And another one is for here. This is one of our controller which control to our vibrating feeding chain. And this is a turn of button to make it vibrating. And this too is controller is speed to make it quickly. And this button is for setting parameter which we already set up so you don't need to change it this is our emergency stop button and press it the machine will stop running and turn right of it machine will turn on again and this one is the stop button for the cutting tray and this one is the turn of button this button is to control the speed of it We use it for set up the parameter. Don't need to change it. Mold replacement procedure. Remove the screws and pins from the mold to replace the lower mold. After replacement, reinsert the pins and tighten the screws to secure the mold. The turntable contains tracks designed for coins of different sizes. Each track requires a specific number of spacers. To adjust, remove the screws on the turntable. Loosen the screws on the upper components of the turntable without fully removing them, allowing the components to move up and down freely. Take off the turntable, place the appropriate spacers according to the required track, then reassemble and secure the turntable. Adjust the track of the vibrating feeder accordingly. These two screws is for select the size of the coin, like this one. This one is bigger and this one is small. And then we can adjust these two screws to make this to become smaller and the small coin can go through and the big one will fall into the tray. And for this one, his function is to restrict two folding coin. Only one can go like this. And for these screws, we can adjust this one to adjust the height of this mold to control the thickness, the thickness of their size, which can go through like this. Then let's move to these four screws. This four also control the thickness of the coin. And this two, this two, it is control the size of the coin. Once you adjust, do the adjustment, you need to put two of your coins in these two places to make sure that uh, after your adjustment, this coin can go through smoothly. After you Finish the adjustment for your coin size. Then let us do the test. Firstly, open the tray. 